Welcome to the next lesson in the Blending Mode class at Hummies World. This lesson is going to focus on the Color Burn Blending Mode. And as I've said before, it's all about the math that they've put into the program. But the math for the Color Burn is, is just too complicated for us to care about actually looking at. So we're going to look at a few of the factors and how it works and observe it. Uh, the darker the bottom layer, the more color, the more its color is used. So the bottom layer's color is really important and the darker it is, the more of its used of it is used in the math in deciding what color the output is. Um, something to note, uh, blending with white makes no change. And so if you have on the top layer some white, um, as we talked about in a previous lesson, maybe so you have some torn parts of the texture, um, those are going to make no changes. And so if you want to use that te texture and um, it has those torn areas and you really don't like the torn areas, you won't have to worry uh, because uh, they're not going to make any difference in those areas. Uh, the No part of the image will be lighter. That's an important thing to note. Um, nowhere in your image is it ever, ever going to get lighter. Everything will be either you know, no change if it's white or it will be made darker. And so um, the color burn is true to its name. It really burns that color. And the darker the color, the more it gets burned. And um, white doesn't burn at all. So those are little ways that you can um, help to remember what this color does. Uh, no part of the image will be lighter because burn means to burn and make darker and so it's it's never going to be lighter. So let's look at it. Um, I'm going to make this text invisible and as we're doing with all of these lessons I've got the gradient and the three colors and let's see what the blending mode does when we apply it. And there you go. You can see it's much, much darker than the multiply. Here's what the multiply did, which is actually a more pleasing color. And here's what the color burn does. So the color burn actually takes that gray, 50% gray, and it whoops, went the wrong way, and it turns it into black also. So actually more than half of this um, gradient makes it all turn black. I mean, it really burns it. And then um, the lighter colors here uh, are even darker than the, the multiply, which is this here. So it really, really burns. And so what do you need to consider when you're mixing um, the textures with your photo? Well, obviously, as in the, as in the last lesson and, and in all of these in the burn section, um, if it's going to make it darker, you might just want to start out with something much lighter, uh, your photo. And, um, and since we know white, makes no change um, in your photo think about what photos you have that have white and for me I instantly thought of clouds the clouds are white the clouds aren't going to change but everything else in the photo is going to change um, uh, that is uh, something to think about maybe when you're setting up a photo if you're actually taking a photo for this that the white makes no change um, if you're uh, doing your uh, backdrop, maybe uh, think about how uh, that's going to affect this. Um, and so I went and found a cloud photo to play with. And here is 
my sample and I'm gonna as as I try to do I try to do think outside of the box and think of something unique to kind of share with you um, how uh, to do some little tip a different way to play with so gradually maybe you're learning new tips so you can play with these textures uh, as uh, you uh, do this class um, here is let's look at my texture first let's change it back to normal well actually it, it uh, looked pretty normal this is the texture we're doing and I purposefully um, use this one actually when I made this texture and I need to do this more often it's got some really cool uh, texture in here I actually got a piece of board that had like a canvas texture on it and I put paint over it and that just turned out really good I just need to find me some more boards like that and um, this actually is working out really well uh, I went ahead and went with the blue to share with you uh, because maybe maybe a lot of you are going to do cloud photos just like I did and um, uh, you can see uh, the edges here are darker and then I do have some splashes of white out there uh, so that um, when you're using the color burn those areas aren't going to make any changes in the photo uh, but uh, these uh, this area around the edge uh, should put an edge around your photo which is kind of cool so here is my original photo and it's actually a photo we took flying back from Hawaii when I, we went for our 25th wedding anniversary to there. And I thought that that would be really cool uh, to use. And so here's uh, the text that I ended up making to go with it. And now I went ahead. Here's a tip. Um, I made the text to be color burn. Um, there's the normal text. Well, you're going to see uh, uh, as I'm deconstructing this that my text is two different colors. Well, the reason for that is that when I applied the blending mode and um, this text in here, um, it's actually after I have the next two layers done. Also, this text in here got really white because of the very white bright clouds behind it as it was blending in so I just selected that text and I made it a little bit darker and after you see the the paper with it you'll see how it um, all comes together but there's another tip for you is to go ahead I've got multiply there let's get back to color burn there you can see um, with the color burn it, it makes the text so much different in there um, where the clouds were super white but I love using color burn over uh, with the text um, and the way it, it it works that's just one of my favorite things to do with the color burn I don't use it very often but that's a cool thing to do with it and so here's the art paper and then um, I changed that of course to the color burn because my challenge for you remember in each of these is to use only the paper I provided you and try to only use the uh, color burn and or the, the the blending mode we're working with on that lesson so everybody can learn and then you can kind of tell tell us your recipes or what you did different uh, and so um, this is real cool just like it is I thought you see how the white of the clouds stayed but um, the uh, darker areas down here uh, really made everything darker and the cool uh, texture uh, came through and you can see how um, the edging was made it's kind of a thick edging uh, but I'm new at making these textures and I just took my finger with the paint <laughs> or my brush I think I did a brush it just went around I need to get a smaller brush and, and do it um, I'm learning uh, how to make textures as I'm playing with this class and so hopefully I will 
continue to learn to make more and more cooler textures. This one's pretty cool. Um, you see where it was white on the texture right here? It's made no change with what's below. And uh, there's even a little section here where it's made no change. And so remember, um, if you wanted to, uh, you could even play with the texture a little bit. Like if I wanted um, this to be no change right under my text uh, to kind of make it like a little matte, I might go back and clone and change that texture a little bit. Uh, that might be another idea for you. And I did go ahead and create a hue and saturation layer because um, I wanted to kind of lighten the blue. I think it just, that's a little too dark and I kind of lightened it, but uh, that is just with a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Here, let me go back. It's right here. Hue and saturation and I just kind of I don't know, I just move things around. Um, that's kind of cool, the way it kind of brings in that aqua. I almost stopped at that. There's green, but but I just changed the color ever so slightly. I don't even remember exactly where I landed, uh, but it was here. <laughs> and so that is all there is really to the color burn. It's kind of cool, but you got to remember to really use and start with something that has uh, white in it. Um, think about what photos you could take. I wonder what this would be like with a white flower and then the green. Um, the green would be made uh, darker and uh, the white would still stay white and crisp and that might be kind of cool. Uh, get creative and as we share we all can see what each other has done with uh, the same texture and uh, let's have some fun.